So just before we start turn five, we're halfway through the game. Let's just have a review of where we are. Um, the Republicans have um, a couple of, I forgot to put him on, I'm gonna purchase last turn. And they've got two Dino Monteros waiting to come on and a donkey full of ammunition that hasn't moved. Um, they have a full unit in the railway station with four lots of ammunition. In the woods, we have a section of Poon, uh, who taken, took three casualties last turn, and they've got the HQ unit in there, and also a mortar that's still ranging in on its point uh, over on the far side of the table. And uh, we've got Poom 2 in that building there, that's still pinned, they didn't activate last turn, luckily they didn't get shot at either, so, well they did get shot at, they just didn't take any casualties. And then over on the hill there, Poom 3 have moved up, and if you look in the background you'll just see the sniper sneaking up round the outside. Uh, we've, the other sniper is down here, um, he's failed on both occasions to uh, get a clear shot, so he hasn't done much yet. And uh, we'll bob round to the other side of the table just to check out on the Republicans. Sorry, the Nationalists. Uh, apologies, I've just opened the window and it's got very, very noisy outside. Um, the radiator is on and it's absolutely boiling in here. So I'll just... Uh, apologies for the background noise for now. Uh, so Legion 1, um, at the end of their turn, they didn't activate, but they uh, moved to a better level of cover. So they've now occupied that building. Um, they're in a bit of a crossfire from two units of Poom, but one is um, pinned at the moment. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting fight. Um, Armoured car didn't activate. That's um, sat there with some sort of problem. Uh, that should hopefully come and activate next turn. Um, we've got Legion 3. Very, very close to some uh, exploding artillery. Um, hopefully they'll get to move again next turn. They're a little bit stuck really because... Um, there's not a lot of cover for them, so where they are, um, they're outside half range, they're in a one cover, so that might be the best place for them to stay. And then everyone's getting in the wood today, uh, we've got in the uh, Nationalist wood, we've got a unit of Legion, we've got a heavy machine gun just round the front, and the HQ have bobbed in there for a bit of extra cover. And then on the front line we've got the Guardi Seville. Um, firing down into that unit of Poom in the wood in front of them. Caused a lot of casualties last time, so it'll be interesting to see where that goes this turn. Uh, so the Nationalists are pushing forward. They are currently, uh, the score at the end of turn four is two all. Each 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 side has a building. Um, so I would suggest that the, the most of the action is going to go on that building there that will be the key building to uh, tip over one side from the other so the nationalists have got four moves to capture that building or the republicans to capture that building so let's see how we get on and uh, we'll go back and flip some cards so turn five we are going to um, flip through some cards and as before we will just focus on the activation stuff I'm pretty sure you've got movement now. You should be pretty close to getting fire in as well. Um, so we're concentrating on actual action. So the first card over is Poom 4. So they're going to fire back up into um, the Guardi Seville in the building. They've only got seven guys left, which you round up. So let's call it eight. So we've got eight guys with rifles, uh, which will give us eight dice. And those eight dice will require, moving over, let's just have a look at what's going on here. So it's these guys in the wood firing up into the building here. And we've got eight dice. We are a basic four firing into cover one, uh, looking for ones to hit. And we have missed, which is not uh, unexpected. So all we need to do is drop that little dice down there to a three. God, it's hard, hard, hard recording ammunition, isn't it? Oh my God, and my brain is collapsing. Um, just joking there. Uh, so that's Poom 4, and we'll come back uh, with more action shortly. And uh, the next card always does this, doesn't it? Actually did mean something. So uh, event card, we rolled for it, and the Nationalist got it, but it's a neutral card, so it affects the whole table. And effectively, 
um, we've got visibility problems and firing ranges are doubled for the rest of the turn. So I'm just going to leave that next to that event card next to the deck so that we remember when we fire uh, that we've got to double our distance and uh, this is going to probably be better for the uh, Republicans but let's see how it goes. Guardi Seville have come out, they're going to fire back into the um, guys in front of them in the wood. If you remember from earlier on they were only six inches away so that hasn't affected even though we're doubling ranges we've gone up to 12 half range for a rifle is 15 so and the range for an smg is 15 so it's made no difference whatsoever so we're going to fire into there and the smgs have missed and the rifles have hit twice so, two hits with the rifles for two kills. So, this isn't looking very good for these guys in here. So, they're now down to five. They've lost 50% casualties in two turns. But they are backed up by the officer in here so we're going to spin him round because he's going to use his effect to um, try and stop them from becoming pinned we are now looking at uh, to, I've not seen whether the sergeant's been killed ever and um, he has for, for these guys but it doesn't make any difference because they're taking their morale factor from the officer but if that officer moves they those guys are in real trouble so they're on a basic of eight they're in a wood which is a 10 they have lost two casualties uh, which is an eight and they've rolled a five so remarkably the puma quite happy having lump shot out of them and we'll come back shortly with the next uh, card Uh, the next uh, next card that makes any difference that, uh, that's out is the Nationalist HMG and uh, this hasn't fired yet so we'll have a quick look at that and if you remember we are doubling all distances so we're at 17 we double that so we're now effectively firing at 34 inches um, maximum range for HMG is 75 so we are still not over half range uh, which is not good for the Republicans. Um, so we're going to fire this. A HMG gets six dice, and it's a shoot five against a cover three, under half range, twos to hit. And we've missed. We've missed, would you believe? So that HMG will drop down to a four, and has fired this turn. Our next car is Poom 3, just moved up onto the hill last turn. Uh, we are 10 inches away from the rear building containing Legion 1, but uh, we've got the Mirage, haven't we? So we are uh, 20, 20 inches away. Uh, we've got four rounds of ammunition, uh, so we're going to be firing over half range. Is it worth it? You'd think about it if you were playing uh, an actual game, but for this uh, purposes of this, we are going to go for it. So we have got all rifle well we've got nine rifles and one SMG. SMG is going to be out of range at 20, maximum range for that's 15. So we're going to go five rifles, each firing two shots at long range. So let me just grab up four, five, six, seven, eight, ten dice. And we are a shoot four against a building which is a three so we're on one but we're over half range so we're hitting on one and our kill effect will be dropped down to four another one will come off because we we should be firing on zeros but you always get a chance to hit so let's roll and we've got three three ones which is pretty good going and uh, we'll drop that down but we would normally kill on a six with a rifle. We are long range, so we're killing on a five. 
but we are below um, one below what we would need to to not to roll a one. We should have rolled a zero, so that's an extra one off the uh, casualty factor. So we're looking at fours and under, and we rolled a ten, a seven, and a two. So that's one casualty on the legion, and the legion are a seven. Uh, and so it's going to be a 10 to pin the legion and the legion have pinned would you believe there we go it's always a possibility uh, so i'll put those markers on and then we'll come back okay just move on a little bit we've we've had a little bit of action in that the um republican mortar has been fired it was ordered by the poom hq if you remember i've already affected one um, morale check so they've only got one person left to do anything and um, the legion moved up over there and just got missed just got missed by the mortars but what ha has happened is the guys in the in the building who are already pinned have been shot at by the armored car and lost another casualty uh, which puts them uh, in an interesting situation in that they are alone and their sergeant has been killed it wasn't i just rolled there and it wasn't a guy it was a sergeant so they're on their own they are a basic four for a soldier you they are in a building which puts them up to seven they have lost two casualties which drops them down to six but they are also pinned and uh, a pin drops them down uh, another factor so we are four seven six five so there is a chance of them pinning again unless they get five or under and they've rolled a nine and they were very very close there to going two pins over so they have their second pin And that means that when they activate, they need to get rid of those pins or they're going to fall back. Um, so that's uh, one to look for in the future. Um, we'll flip some more cards. Oh, so we've got something new. Uh, Sniper's uh, card has come out. And um, as you can see from the dice there, uh, the Sniper has rolled a six and the Nationalists have rolled a five and a four. So the Sniper can now fire. He's in a two cover, but he can now fire and effectively duck back behind cover before anyone realises what he's done. Um, so he's going to fire at that unit of Legion. I'll just put them in focus. Uh, he's going to fire at them. And he is a shoot five, because he's a sniper. And he is, we're, we're doubling our ranges, but a sniper rifle is 48. So, he is going to be long range, so that's going to take him 5 long range, 4 to hit, however he's using a sniper rifle which takes him up to 6. So, one shot with a sniper rifle, needing a 6 to hit, and he's rolled a 3, which is a hit. So, Let's see if it causes any damage. Uh, sniper rifles cause a casualty on eight or less. And he's rolled a 10. Oh my word, got away with it. So sniper gets on target, but the guy ducks at the last minute and doesn't become a casualty. So that's that sniper. So the next card I'm gonna look at is Legion One. And if you remember, they really, really unluckily got pinned um, last turn. Uh, so the, the first thing they need to do in their turn is to try and unpin and we've not done this before uh, So you can try and unpin twice uh, The first thing that we could do if possible would be if there was a, a HQ unit nearby then that could use its figures to remove one of those pins, but unfortunately the uh, The HQ unit is more than nine inches away, so it can't do anything So we need to roll our way out of this and um, fingers crossed it should be straightforward because we've got a really good unit 
we have got uh, an officer, sorry, an NCO in the building, which is a 7. And we are in hardcover, which is a 10. And we have one pin, which is a 9. And um, we've got no other casualties or anything along those lines. So, so long, and he said it now, hasn't he? As long as we don't roll a 9 or a 10, uh, we will get rid of the pin. And I think we've rolled a cock dice, haven't we? Uh, no, we've rolled a 4. So, pin has gone. And the pin means that um, effectively you've walked, so you've used two of your three actions to get rid of that pin. We could fire uh, at half range and half effect, but remember the Mirage is in, um, in use, so we would need to be within six inches of that unit, which we are. So this is quite a, a busy day for the Legion. They are going to fire at the guys in the building in front of them these guys so we'll come back with some dice rolls in a second so if you haven't picked it up already firing is half the number of figures that we've got available so four figures are going to fire and uh, we've got some weapons and options in there we've got a pistol and we've got an lmg um, so lmg higher rate of fire we're not going to fire the pistol. We, you only fire pistols in dire, dire emergencies, usually with HQ units just about to be overrun. So we're going to fire uh, three guys with rifles, which will give us six dice, and one guy with an LMG, which is going to give us three dice. We are, even though we're doubling ranges, we're still we're, still, we're six inches, so that would give us twelve inches, which is not over half range for a rifle so we're firing at normal ranges so we are a five firing into heavy cover which is a three so we're looking at twos to hit so with the lmg we've got one hit and then with the rifles we have got one two three hits so let's convert the rifles and the lmgs because they're all the same Fire effect, we're all within half range, so six is or less and we're causing casualties. And we have just shot four of them. That was some decent die rolling from me. The sergeant is already dead, so there's no um, things to take off for cover. So we've got one, two, three, four. Now this isn't looking good for these boys. So, four casualties, and we're going to need to do a guts check, and they're going to need to be good. They're outside range of their officer, the sergeant is dead, so their basic is four. They are in a building, so that basic goes up to seven. However, they have got two pins, so we're down to five. We have been fired at by a light machine gun, we are down to four. And we have lost six casualties out of ten. So we are down to one. So let's see what we can do for these boys. It's not looking good. And we rolled a seven. So they are obviously pinned. But if you are... So you'll get another pin. Take them to three. Uh, apologies for the guys banging away in the background. Live... Uh, recording and all that now um, because the number they have rolled is doubled the number that they required they receive an extra pin now under normal circumstances um, two pins would mean that you would fall back six, six inches from the enemy three pins nine inches from the enemy uh, but four pins once you reach four pins you've got no chance of saving it and the unit is removed from the table. So uh, poor old Poom 2 uh, have gone, which is leaving a rather large hole in the Republican lines. So we flicked through the cards and um, Siesta was second to last, the second Siesta, which is turnover, and the last card was Poom 2, the, poo, the unit that's just disappeared. Um, so we can remove the Mirage from the table, and that event is now over. And uh, very quickly just review where we are. 
um, there is a big change in the middle. So unit in the railway station, the mirage meant that anything over 15 wasn't firing. So we've got a lot of stuff down here that didn't fire. We've got Poon 4 in a bit of trouble, down to 50% strength. It's only the officer behind. Uh, I forgot to turn them round, activate them for next turn. There, that's um, keeping them going. They probably would have left by now. Uh, Guardi Seville in there, a couple of casualties. Legion haven't taken a casualty yet across here. Very big hole, very big empty building. And a unit of Poom there that was thinking, we're doing all right here, we're going to get a bit of a flanking manoeuvre in, is now thinking we're on our own. This isn't looking very good. So, uh, turn that turn was a bit of a disaster for the um, Republicans. Uh, they did have this, um, but that was never going to save that unit on the uh, on the building. I could pass one guts check with it. I couldn't pass three or four that I, I needed. And that last failure, I failed seven times. So it was effectively 11 pins on that. So it was never, ever in a million years going to pass. Uh, so that's the end of that turn. We'll just do the reinforcements and uh, we're cracking through. So here we are, we are end of turn six, uh, two turns to go, and um, the Republicans are in trouble. Uh, but it's a spend time, so the Republicans have got 20 Pesetas, and they can afford a section of infantry, and to be honest, that is their only uh, potential way out. So I'm going to recycle some of those casualties. There's 15 Republican casualties to two nationalists at the moment uh, it's not gone well for the nationalists uh, but there we go and um, they've been unlucky with their artillery to be fair so they're going to buy another unit of poom and these guys have got 10 20 30 40 50 and they are going to we've only got a couple of turns left so uh, did he buy a HMG, uh, which is not going to get up and get into action, or are they going to get a mortar and hopefully get one turn out of it? Um, or they could buy uh, two sections of infantry, which are not going to get anywhere close to making a difference, I don't think. Uh, so we'll just spend it on the mortar, um, because we like mortars, and uh, we'll put the new units on. In a minute so that just leaves the republicans with five pesetas and we roll again as we do at the end of every turn and my word uh, somebody's put um, a wooden block over the cash dispenser uh, the nationalists get 10 and that's it end of turn six okay apologies for the uh, confusion earlier on um this is this is turn six not the end of turn six uh, previously. So this is turn six and um, we'll turn over the first card as before we'll come back as and when uh, we get some action. So first card is Republican Mortars and uh, it might be worth playing that one out so we'll zoom in uh, over on the far side and come back to you shortly. So this is the third turn of firing, so we're on minus six on 2d6 because we're observed. I've turned the HQ figure round on the Republican side and we've rolled a three. So we are on target. So the um, no need to roll deviation when we're on target. And if we put the template, simply this is the first time that we've had any casualties you put the template over the top of, of where the uh, shell has landed and um, we've got two figures who are potential casualties and uh, artillery very very straightforward um, each type of shell has a factor uh, so a small mortar is three a big mortar is four a field gun is five you take off the cover that that person is in 
or whoever the template goes over and roll a dice and if it gets that number uh, the figure is a casualty there are no saves so we have a big mortar which is a four um, we've got two guys under the template so threes or less and we've got a casualty and we've got one casualty there so that's a uh, legion down and then we need to do a morale uh, a mortar is minus two on morale we are uh, legion and legion sergeant is a seven we are in cover a one cover which is eight uh, nothing off for casualties because we haven't taken two so we are eight and minus two for the uh, mortar and we've rolled a six so we are okay but only just uh, so that's the first casualty from the mortar and uh, we'll draw some more cards and come back to you shortly so we're back after a few cards um, the, the new section of Poom has come on and they've got three ammunition the, the runners and the Dynamonteros have run up behind the cover of that building there. Uh, the next card out was uh, Poom 3. And uh, they are going to take a shot at the unit of Legion in the uh, cover there. And we're over half range, so we're going to take our rifles. And if you remember with the uh, the way it works is you take half the number of figures so that's going to be five and so that's going to be rifles because we are over 15 inch so we're going to fire 10 lots of rifles and we are shoot of four we are over half range three and they are in a one cover so we are looking for twos to hit and we've got two, two ones there, and then uh, two uh, countless casualties. We are looking at uh, sixes normally, but we are over half range, so we're looking at fives. And two casualties from the uh, Legion, so that's uh, three casualties already this turn. And um, I forgot to check earlier on with the artillery. Uh, uh, I do apologise, I uh, didn't need to check with the artillery because it didn't land on the sergeant. Uh, so um, they need to take a guts check, having taken three casualties now. And they are a basic, um, a basic seven for the NCO, eight for the cover, one for casualties, which is seven, and nothing off for the rifles. So uh, they are eight, they're pinned. And just check whether the sergeant's a casualty, and he isn't. So we've got a pinned unit of legion. Uh, so we drop the ammo down on these boys. Uh, they're down to two, uh, which will just see them out to the end of the game. There's, there's a donkey nearby with some ammunition, just in case they need it. Well, that's the first uh, positive light for the Republicans for some time. Just come over to the side of the table now. We've had a few more cards out. Um, legion two has run up from the woods into the cover of the hacienda and uh, the next card out was legion three which these boys here are um, currently uh, in a bit of a dire situation with the one uh, pin so um, they are as we said before they're a basic nco of seven they are in cover eight they've lost three casualties which just gives them a minus one of seven and um, they are pinned, which is six. So they need to try and unpin themselves, which they're gonna do now. And seven, so they haven't. You can make two attempts uh, during a turn to unpin. And um, if you rally first, you count as if you've moved six inches, but they haven't rallied, so let's give them another chance. And two, so they've removed the pin, but that's the end of their turn. So a couple more cards out. Uh, Poom 4 in the wood have uh, fired into the Guardi Seville 
on the building and taken and done one casualty and then uh, we're just coming over here because uh, PUM3 are under fire from um, Legion 1 who is the unit in the building and that is a full section and um, that has got a light machine gun it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. So four are going to fire. So I'm going to fire my light machine gun and three rifles. And if we look, we are under half range for the rifles. So we are five to fire and we are under half range. There's no effect for that. And we've got, just got two for the cover of the hill. So, if I take three coloured dice for the LMG, um, and it's going to be six dice for the rifles, and we need threes. Uh, oh my god. Uh, that is one, two, three, four rifle hits, or four, four rifles on target. And we are under half range, so we need sixes or less. And that's killed four, which is not good for the Republicans. So we will take four figures off. Let's just see if one was a sergeant. It was. Oh dear. Oh dear. So their NCO has gone. And we take off three others. And we drop the ammunition down to four for the Legion. And then we've got a um, morale check for the guys on the hill. And um, their sergeant's gone, so that's not good. They are now on four. Their morale is four. Their uh, command group are outside of command radius, so they can't help. And they have lost five men. So they're on a four, they are on a two cover, which is six, and they've lost two uh, casualties, which takes them to four, and they've taken casualties from a light machine gun, which is three. So their morale check rolls an eight. So, um, so they're pinned, so because they've failed, but they've failed twice, so they are. It, so they needed three and they've gone six, more than six, so they've failed twice. If they rolled a nine, they would have been had three pins put on them. So there's two pins to put on those guys. Which are there. And um, what started off fairly well for the Republicans this turn has suddenly gone very bad indeed. Um, however, I've just remembered that the Republicans have got this, so I'm going to play this card, this event card that I did forget previously, um, and that's going to make sure that they pass their morale. Uh, so that was a handy card to have lying around, and um, let's get on and play some more cards. So, short. Uh, interval there. The Poom HQ have gone, but they can't do anything at the moment. Uh, the Nationalist Mortars K card came out, but they've already fired. Um, sorry, the Nationalist Mortars came out. They've moved on the table and set up immediately, so they'll be ready to fire next turn. Which just brings us to the next unit, which is the Nationalist um, MG. Maximum effective range is 75 for the HMG. And unfortunately for these guys, they didn't quite get far enough. This was always going to be a problem. It was a bit of a gamble to put them here. Um, and we are under half range, which would be 32 and a half. Um, so that heavy machine gun, uh, which can be a bit of a beast, has got a rate of fire of six. And it is firing um, under half range. And the only modifier is one cover. So fives or less, and we hit and uh, that's not good because that's four hits and HMG we, or HMG causes casualties on seven or less, one more than the 
rifle and LMG. And we oh, got away with it there, two nines, uh, but that's two casualties on the Poom unit that's um, just come out. And obviously it will need a morale check. And we have got our sergeant there, so sergeant is a six, but we might be within eight of our HQ, and we're not. Uh, so we've got a six, we are in light cover, seven. We have lost two casualties, six, and uh, we are under fire by heavy machine gun, four. And off camera, we rolled a three, so they are as happy as they can be uh, whilst being fired at by a heavy machine gun. Uh, the next card out was Siesta, so uh, we've only got seven, six or seven cards left. Um, so we'll shake those up and uh, go again, because that was the first Siesta, and would you believe there we go. So that's the end of the turn. Uh, we've just got our units to go through to see whether they can do anything. Snipers don't activate. They're a specialised unit, so therefore don't activate. Guardi Seville. Now, we have got a unit within short range, so they will fire. Event card doesn't do anything. Nationalist Armour is a specialist unit, so won't fire. And Poom 1 are in the building, and uh, they're a long way from anything, but they will fire into... into uh, they can't see anything, actually. So Poom 1 are uh, redundant, shall we say. So we've just got the Guardia Seville to fire. And um, these are the guys up in the house up here. And um, just to finish off this move, we've got five guys left, so three will fire, and we are under 15, so I will fire my SMG with three dice and four dice worth of rifles. I am a five, firing into a wood, which is a two, so I need threes to hit. And I've got two rifle hits in close range, so we need sixes for a casualty. And we've got another casualty on Poom 4, which is now not looking very good at all. Now it's down to four men, but it's backed up by the uh, HQ. So the HQ are going to support and they will turn one of their people around. Uh, just have a look down there. So this is the guy who's uh, spotted for the mortar, and that's the guy who um, is supporting this morale. So we uh, are on a basic of eight for the officer, cover of ten. We have now minus three for the casualties, which takes us to seven, and we're all three. So they're quite happy. So we are now at the end of the actual end of turn six. And we'll go and look at some money. So there was a slight uh, miscalculation when the uh, Nationalists bought the mortar. They're, they're, they didn't have any money left. It cost 50. Uh, so they've got none and the Republicans have got 10. Uh, so let's throw our dice. Three, uh, three whites for the Nationalists and two green for the Republicans. Looking at six or more. And we've got 20 for the Nationalists and 10 for the Republicans. Uh, and effectively, that's going to be the last um, reinforcement money that's going to be any use because next turn it will be turn 7 and they, people will be able to buy stuff at the end of turn 7, which can come on at the end of turn 8. Um, so we're, we're kind of just building up money um, for, for the sake of it there. But both have got 20, and that is the end of turn 6. OK, turn 7, we are ready to go. Let's have a quick review of the battlefield before we start off. And on the Republican left flank, 
uh, we've got the unit of Poom that just marched on and got hit by a heavy machine gun and uh, taken two casualties. Uh, behind the building we've got a donkey with some ammunition and a couple of guys um, with um, explosive dynamite. On the hill we've got a, a unit uh, of Poo Militia that's had um, a bit of a pasting. It lost uh, four casualties in one turn uh, and only just passed its guts thanks to a um, remarkable card that they picked up. Going over there we've got Legion 3 that's taken some casualties. They're down to uh, five men from eight so they're not looking particularly well and they only just uh, recovered their morale at the end of last turn. Uh, Legion 1 in the building which is causing havoc uh, to Poom 3. In the wood we've got a HMG set up with the HQ unit and just behind you can see the mortar uh, and then at the Hacienda we've got the Garda Seville who are down to five men now and um, the unit of legion behind in the wood. We've got a very understrength uh, poom section now down to four men, HQ, a sniper and a mortar. Uh, and then we've got a full strength unit in uh, the railway station, which are kind of out of the game now. That they've that's captured and secured the objective for the Republicans, and uh, they won't be doing much else from there. So let's go turn seven and uh, see what the cards bring us. Uh, Poom HQ. They are going to activate the mortar and fire the mortar. And uh, now that they're ranged in, uh, we're starting to use ammunition. So that's a two. And uh, I'll come back um, if they cause any casualties. If not, I'll just come back at the, excuse me, at the ne next card. Okay, so the card that's come out is the Guardia Seville, and uh, got a couple of options here. And um, under normal game turns, I'd probably just stay there and fire. Um, but because we have, um, we're trying to demonstrate the rules, I shall do a charge. So the Guardia Seville, uh, all five of them, um, are going to charge this. Um, understrength unit of Poom, there's only four guys left. So I have to do a guts check for the charger. I am a Gardi Seville sergeant, which is an eight, in a building, which is in an 11, and I have got one off for casualty, which is a 10. So I can't fail, I will charge. Now the defender has not fired in this turn yet, so we have to see where the, they fire. Um, and the way to do that, you just take the base guts of a soldier. You don't include any officers or any sergeants, um, which for the poom is a four, and you add to that their cover, which is a six. So they roll the dice against their basic morale, a six, and they've rolled an eight, which is not good. So, um, Rolling lower than a six, they would have fired as normal, and that could have caused some casualties because it would have been four dice um, with no modifiers, four dice on fours. Um, if it was equal, they would have fired as if they'd crawled, so they would have fired at half effect. Um, one higher, they would fire at half effect and half range, which wouldn't make any difference. But because they're two over, it means they have fired they lose an ammunition point because they have actually fired but they've been so upset by the charge that they've decided to uh, just fire off into the distance which means that our brave Guardia Seville have successfully uh, completed their charge they've not taken any casualties so they charge in and just so we remember, they have charged six inches. So we can see the uh, the fight going on in there. So 
So I've done a little bit of tree movement to get the action in. And um, so we've moved to the um, charged in and we now need to roll 2d6 each and plus the difference in morale plus the um, difference in uh, so plus one for charger. So these guys here will just be on a straight 2d6 and they roll a three. And the um, Guardi Seville, they rolled a six and they are higher morale by two. So that will take them on to eight and they've charged, which will take them on to nine. So that merely gives them the advantage in the melee of going first. So they will take five dice and they are on a fight of four. Plus one because they've charged, they're on a five. Uh, so straight away they have killed three. There's no morale in uh, melee, it's a uh, fight to the last man. And uh, there is only one uh, unit left now for, or sorry, one man left for the Republicans, and they uh, cause a casualty on a three, which is their fight stat, and they don't. So the other five men fight back, needing five, uh, so fours or less, no, fives or less, sorry, and um, three. So that unit of Poom has been wiped out by that unit of Guardi Seville. Um, the Guardi Seville, a lot better troops. Um, Poom uh, have got uh, very poor fight stat and very poor morale. So uh, it, they were lucky to stand, to be fair. Um, but that means um, some interesting implications in that wood in the next phase. But there we go, that's uh, an example of uh, fighting. And um, it's not much happened since uh, the last, uh, the big move. The Nationalist uh, HMG came out but didn't have a target. Uh, snipers came out but didn't shoot. Uh, so the next one is Legion 1. And if we remember, they made quite a nasty mess of Poom 3 last time. And they're just going to fire again. Uh, so we've got the three dice for the LMG and six dice for the rifles. And we need uh, threes to hit. And we've got one, two, three, four rifle hits. Uh, sorry, three rifle hits and an LMG hit. So looking at casualties, we are under half range, so it's sixes for all of them. And we've caused two casualties. Uh, let's see, uh, the sergeant's already gone. Uh, so we just take the next two off. And that unit now of Poom has um, got itself in a bit of trouble. Um, it is now down to four guys. Um, it's got no uh, sergeant with it. And um, <laughs> it's not in a good place. Uh, so basic um, the morale check is a four. And we are in our hill, uh, which is a two cover. So we are on six. But we have taken um, three lots of casualties, which just takes us down to three. And uh, we've under fire from an LMG, so we are on a two to pass a guts test. And we've rolled an eight, which is four times the uh, required amount. So that unit will disintegrate straight away and uh, go back into the casualty pile, leaving a very lonely sniper on the end. And just when you didn't think this turn could get any worse for the uh, Republicans, it did. Uh, Legion 2 have come out and have gone onto the roof of the building, as we can see there. And look what they can see at the back of that building in no cover. And we are under 15 as well. Uh, so this is 8 dice, 5 hit. And that's one, oh my god, one, two, three, four, uh, five hits. And five hits 
leading sixes for casualties and we've just done five casualties on that unit out in the open um, one thing you don't want to be in any modern warfare is out in the open and that kind of proves that one uh, so uh, we'll do a quick morale test over there for them they've already lost two um, sergeant is still alive so they are the basic six they are not in cover they have lost seven from ten which is minus four sorry minus three um so they're on four and they've only two remarkably so they've passed um but that's a lot of casualties to take in one turn uh we've shot through the rest of the cards uh, because um there's not a lot going on and um because there's not very many uh republican units left and um it's not gone well for them unfortunately that turn really turned things but let's see what our event card can do so we'll roll for the republicans first i roll a five and the nationalists roll a nine so it's all going the nationalist way and they pull this card out which uh, gives them a medic uh, save if they uh, get any casualties in the next turn and there's just two cards left uh, nationalist armor and then siesta so uh, the tank uh, can't see anything at the moment or the armored car can't see anything at the moment uh, so he will move into a more favorable position and uh, that will be the end of the turn so here, here we are at the end of turn seven uh, on the republican sorry on the nationalist side and um, I'm going to call this game now. I'm not going to play the last turn. I'm going to call this a uh, nationalist victory. Um, on that last turn, the Republicans lost two and a half sections of, of infantry, or two and three quarters. So at the moment, the only uh, Republican resistance is a single sniper there who's in real trouble and is going to get overrun very quickly. Around the back of the building, we've got a section of Poom with three men left, which is extremely weak, and two Dynamonteros, which is the only real um, positive unit that they've got. But because there's only two, because there there's no units for them to be near, they can be picked off fairly easily on their own. Um, up here, we've got at the back, we've got a unit of Legion with five, lots of ammunition. That's going to keep the heads of the lot to the Dynamonteros down. We've got the Legion 1 who are still completely intact and have caused absolutely havoc from that building. The HMG um, and the mortar that hasn't fired yet. And um, oh, I do a light. It fired over towards the railway building which is still safely in Republican hands. Then we've got a unit of Legion and the Legion HQ in the Hacienda. And uh, in the wood, um, the final turn would have been a bit of a coup de grace. We've got a section of Sevilla Guard, uh, Guardia Seville, sorry, um, into um, a unit of HQ and a mortar. And the armoured car is sat at the side of this machine guns pointing at the wood. So I would suggest there would be a surrender there. Uh, so we're going to call that game there. And... Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it made sense. Um, it went on a bit long, but I was explaining rules to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how this um, goes down. And if people like it, then I will post up the um, quick play sheet and um, some links to some of the event cards. You, you can make your own unit cards uh, from whatever units you've got. Um, and let's see if people will play the game. Um, you'll need the Spanish Civil War book from Disposable Heroes if you're going to look into uh, vehicles. Um, I'm not going to breach copyright or anything like that. I've shown you one of the cards, I'll show you what they look like, but the guys who wrote this uh, set of rules deserve some, some brass, so if, um, uh, I'll let you buy that. Uh, yourselves and buy the rule book uh, for clarification for anything that I haven't gone through and anything that isn't in our amended play sheet. Uh, well, thanks very much for watching. It was um, 
and interesting doing a playthrough. It's taken me a long, long time to get to this point. Uh, so I do hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching, Yorkshire Gamer. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. See you.